The reality of it is I lost my mum at a very young age. She didn't pass away, but she was going through a lot of mental health issues and physical issues and she ended up taking it out and becoming quite abusive to myself and to my family. When I did decide to cut out my mum, I was suicidal. I felt so guilty for basically having to be like, I can't deal with this anymore and it would be easier for me just to slip away. There's been multiple times I was riding my bike and I've just gone, I could just stop steering and go into the truck or it just end it. The only thing that stopped me from doing it was the guilt I would have to my sisters and to, to my dad. And cycling was my way to manage that. When things got violent at home, hopping on the bike was just my escape and it just paused everything. That was the one place that wasn't work, that wasn't anything else but just me and the road. So Jay and I started riding at basically high school and we eventually started racing the NRS. One day I got a call from Jay going, I've just finished my first UCI race. And he said, I think I want to do this as a career. Like I love this, this is amazing. We ended up having the discussion of, okay, you're currently in a full-time job at the moment. If you want to do this, honey, then we have to do it now. And we can't half-ass this. It has to be a 100% commitment. We made the decision to just have him quit his job. I would be the sole income earner and he would try and dedicate every hour of his day to becoming a pro. He gave me a second life along with cycling and now I'm able to support him in that. So I full-time support in the sense of cooking, cleaning, any <laughs> flights that get changed and I'm basically an EA all the time, 24 seven. And I absolutely love it. I'm actually living in Europe in Andorra with my husband. Cycling is all of our lives like it it's 24 7 all the time i have one event every year that i try and aim for so that's zwift world champs just so i have something to train for and keep the motivation going being able to be a part of a company that's so genuine is everything to me and sumom have been so genuine and caring to me i just i couldn't imagine doing it without them they didn't know the details of the situations I was going through, but having them go, here Brie, take some kit, post some photos, enjoy riding your bike and just take us along, has enabled me to ride my bike more. We decided from the get-go, all those years ago, it's 100% or nothing. So if I'm able to support him and then go on to my dream of becoming a mum, then that's amazing. To be the mum I've never had, I can't wait to do that and to do it with Jay is just so amazing. Anyone has followed Jay's and my stories uh, across the years, they'll know the hashtag Get Wrecked Jay and Get Wrecked Vine. Basically all of that is shit's gonna happen. Things are going to go bad and there's going to be so many dark times. If you dig deep and just hold strong, trust yourself, just keep pushing through, it does get better.